Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be having a look at Dune Spice Wars, which is a 4x strategy game. It's a, I'm going to call it a, a real-time 4x strategy game, as opposed to a 4x real-time uh, strategy game. <laughs> I think there's an important definition there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a 4x game. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank the developers Shiro Games for providing me with a key for this. Uh, it's taken me a little while to get this uh, video out to you, but uh, let's dive in. Let's have a little look at the game. So. Uh, I'm going to play as House Harkonnen, uh, just because I always play as Harkonnen in any Jew game. Uh, I think I'd just like being the bad guy. Um, so we can set your settings here. Uh, we're going to play on the smallest map. Uh, we're going to leave out all the other um, uh, settings the same, that's fine. Now I have only played about an hour of this prior to, uh, to today. so. So we're still very much sort of first impressions of uh, Gene Spice Wars, but uh, yeah, we're going to go for Household Conan. And basically, what you can do here is pick two counselors. They all have their own little special buffs. Um, so you can use corruption on the Lands Landsraad resolutions. Uh, basically, it's like this Landsraad council. Um, it's kind of like a diplomacy type aspect to the game. Um, let's have a look. Plus one militia slot, that's going to come in handy. And I'll just go for these two easy ones, I think. 50% of all your military unit cost is refunded upon death. Yeah, so I'll go for these easy ones just because I'm uh, still a bit of a noob. Uh, I've never really been much into the, into the diplomacy side of 4X games. So that's why I've not chosen that uh, little uh, character that was for... Uh, diplomacy type stuff, uh, but uh, so we've started on the map. Um, we can zoom all the way out, see the size of the map. It's still pretty big, uh, even though this is the small uh, setting. But we've got we start off with the ornithopters. These are the the scouts, if you like. So I used to be a big fan of the old uh, RTS games uh, that were very much like Command and Conquer. Um, actually, the, the Dune 2, way back in the 90s, uh, was actually the first strategy game I played. Uh, I, I think it was actually the, the granddaddy of strategy games. It probably was the, the first RTS. Uh, and it was really, really good. A uh, great game. Pretty much uh, it was the, the precursor to Command and Conquer. Uh, and then they did uh, release a game called Dune 2000, uh, which is essentially like a, an updated version of Dune. Uh, which was very much like a uh, RTS um, Command and Conquer game. Uh, this is a little bit different. So for those of you expecting uh, the Command and Conquer uh, style game, can be perhaps a little bit disappointed uh, because it's a totally different game to that. Now, um, it's quite a complex game. I think certainly 4X games are normally quite complex. Um, and this one's no different. There's a lot involved with the diplomacy. There's a lot involved with trying to get you, your town set up as, as well optimized as possible in order to generate your resources and, and everything else. So you'll see on the map there's these little question marks. Now that's where your ornithopter needs to go and uh, scout basically, see what these are. Um, you'll normally find that where there's this uh, rocky bit, uh, that's generally going to be where the... Um, little villages are that you can uh, take over and then there's these things in the in the desert that are kind of your resources we've got the spice down there that's indicated by the, the purple icon yes, but essentially what i want to do is to go out here and, and take this uh little village here uh, yeah i've got a little sandy slope i can go down there so uh, i'm going to go and take that one because that has got the spice and you really want to be getting the spice as soon as you can in uh, in this game now we do have uh, toggles we can accelerate the game uh, a little bit uh, we will look in at all the diplomacy side of stuff a little bit later on but for now uh, let's try and uh, take over this little town just because we want to get some spice so all these towns that have the militia garrison within it I don't think you can actually put militia in your uh, in your capital, but any of the little villages that you capture, uh, you can uh, add militia to them just as a little bit of extra protection. And then, of course, you've got your um, your main troops that you can just keep on going around and uh, 
taken over the world or the planet of Arrakis. Uh, so the game does feature sandworms. Uh, I've not seen any yet, but we'll more than likely see some once we've got the harvesters on the go. Uh, collecting the um, spice. I, I tend to lose. <laughs> I tend to lose harvesters to the uh, to the sandworms in this. Um, so we do have the research screen. As you can see, there's quite a few different bits here. You'll see that some are uh, kind of like house uh, specific or um, uh, in here. Um, don't really see them. Though. Oh, there we go. So cruel reputation. That'll be one that's uh, you know purely for Harkonnen. Um, yeah, there's a few. It looks like you get one per uh, tree, if you like. But I'm going to go for the military style um, research to start off with, and then probably look at trying to improve my um, other stuff, the economy side of things. But uh, so we've got some troops. Uh, in that region, we've captured that region. Uh, so all I really need to do now with this particular region is probably have some militia. Uh, I do like to have the range militia, but we'll probably I'll do a bit of a mixture. Why not? Um, so we're going to need this to be quite well fortified because it's the, where we've got a spice, and uh, we may find that we get attacked quite a bit. But um, where is the refinery? That's the one I want. So we just place that there, like so. We're going to have the refinery on the way. Um, you'll also find that with each of these uh, regions, we've got this little wind strength rating. Uh, basically, if you produce the wind wind traps, you can kind of extract extract water uh, from them. But we've got some more spice there, so uh, we're going to probably want to uh, start looking at moving out and taking over this region as well just so we can have two spicy regions although actually no that's in the next region up there okay that's fine well I can take this one and then move around but you'll see when you actually work walking through the deserts you um, actually take a bit of attrition with your units which can make it quite uh, quite difficult yeah so then they're going to need some more resources basically you've got this uh, salari which is your, your money you've got plascrete uh, which generally is used for uh, construction uh, and then you've got your manpower you've got fuel cells which uh, kind of um, kind of dictates how many ornithopters and refineries and things you can have so you, you want to make sure you've got plenty of that um, and then your water that's kind of like your, your upkeep for your army and your villages and stuff so you don't, certainly don't want to be running out of that and uh, authority uh, represents a faction's leadership and reach over the regions of Iraq so that helps with the diplomacy side of things uh, we've got all these notifications I suppose I better uh, click into some of these <laughs> um, but we'll, uh, we'll look at starting to get some of those sort of economical research things on the on the way um we've got the little i think there's like a tutorial bit there um raid detected so we are going to be raided yes. so it's a good job we've got all that militia there plus we've got it being protected by the uh by the capital anyway so it should be fine but yeah the mi mi militia will, will deal with those quite easily um probably shouldn't have left there i think they were in the process of uh Capturing the town, so that was a bit silly of me. There we go. Yeah, so the militia have saw them off. Uh, still got full complement of militia in there, didn't lose anyone. Uh, but we certainly could do with one of these plascreet factories, possibly. Uh, we'll stick one of those on. Okay, so we can add like missile silos, but they cost a lot basically uh, you gotta make sure you keep oh my harvest is not doing anything uh, so you can add crew onto there and then press deploy auto recall will put on just so that uh, if we get any issues uh, we can escape easily enough 
Um, obviously, keep making your ornithopters uh, do the scouting and stuff. Grab leftover spice. Let's go up there, actually. So, some of these little things, you can actually just um, investigate them further with your ornithopters, and you'll get little bonuses. So, it looks as though I'm going to get some spice from this one. Yeah, a reward, but a spice. Uh, okay. Not been stockpiling enough um, enough spice, so I've got to quickly just whack up all of my spice production here. Uh, basically, if it's all purple, it means you stockpiling it to pay for this uh, kind of pay the tax to the Imperium. Uh, if you have it further down, then you can sell some, and you generate a bit more of the uh, salary uh, money. Uh, probably a good job I've just found that. I've got myself a little bit of extra spice there. Okay, so I can drop that again now. Um, and you can see now that I'm actually harvesting my salari is um, jumping up quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. So uh, that's that one sorted. We've got this one. I'll add a couple of bits of militia to this one. I'm not going to go too heavy, uh, but we can't even add any more troops yet, which is uh, disappointing. We actually need quite a lot of money for those, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit before I can add some more troops. Although, uh, can I go over there? I think it's best that, if I, that I wait for some more troops before I go and try and take that one, because I don't think I'll quite be able to... Uh, overpower them enough but I definitely want to get hold of that region there but uh, you can see almost got a quarter of the map scouted so the maps are quite big and this is the smallest map um, so you can get an idea as to how long these games actually take to play they do take a while so I'm not going to obviously put play the full playthrough in this video it's very much just an introduction to you um, but we're going on to the uh, espionage screen now so on this espionage screen uh, you can access it up here, but I just did it via the notification because it was telling me I've not actually done anything. Uh, you can assign these to sort of infiltrate the other houses. Uh, so we've got the Atreides, the Smugglers, and the Fremen. Uh, or you can assign them to these things as well. And you'll get little bonuses for uh, whichever you go into here. Um, so i just stick them there. I don't really know what I'm doing with this bit, if I'm honest. As I say, I've only played it for about an hour prior to today. Uh, maintenance center construction costs are less. Maximum is that. Uh, we'll get that one for the maximum crew to go in the harvesters. That'll just help us uh, gather more stuff. Okay, I did manage to uh, take that town, actually, which is pretty good. But can't... Oh, take over it because I've not got enough water so I'm gonna stick a, a wind trap down on here it's not gonna be the best because it's not the best region for it um, but it's not too bad it's got a wind strength of six ideally you'd want it a bit more than that but it should be fine so that's gonna generate me three water so then I should be able to take over that village. Uh, so we have the Landstrad. Uh this is uh, essentially where you can vote for things um so let's decline the troop thing there um yeah and then we're gonna put all of our votes on here and we'll even add in a, a little bit of this uh blue influence as well so uh, hopefully we can actually win that and that's going to affect us so you can you can choose which um house you want it to affect um, we've not voted on that one, so it's kind of irrelevant. That one we're, we're just not voting on either. And this one, we're, we're going to try and get some reduced building costs. Because um, that would be pretty beneficial. Uh, we're being attacked. Are these raiders? Yeah, so we've got raiders coming in with this region now. Um, which means we are going to struggle. I'm actually probably going to lose all my army there. By the looks of it. Uh, and that's very much just because I've been having to wait around or can actually do anything with this uh, this town but uh, it's gonna be close isn't it definitely gonna be close 
But yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna lose my army here. Ooh, no. Skin of the teeth, I think. We're very close. Very, very yeah, no, that's fine. Whew. Okay, that was close. Um, but I think very much uh, the first thing I need to do here is to uh, get some more troops in there. Uh, we'll get the uh, the we'll get a maintenance center, and I think we'll get a um, oh oh no no the oh why can't I get another refinery? Missing resources, fuel cells. Okay, right. So I need to get some fuel cells. What is that resource? Rare elements. Allows for construction of the processing plant. Okay. Can I get... I could really do with a fuel cell factory. Let's get one of those down. And then what I can do is buy an extra slot and I'll get the processing factory thing. I don't know what the processing factory thing does, to be honest. But I need to make sure that I'm uh, still doing some scouting. Try and get as much information as possible. Can I go down there? Is that the edge of the map? That's the edge of the map. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's get as much info as possible. I mean, it certainly looked as though I had the uh, other houses fairly close by. Desolation. 500% plus daily supply drain and minus one health per day. Is that big? Why? Why is that? Oh, that's the uh, Winstrap of the 100. That's talking about this actual region that I think that is. Winstrap of the 100. But I don't know if there's actually going to be a village in there. It just seems like a little crazy place. Uh, there's a deep desert there. Again, it's probably not really got a uh, village in there. There are some uh, extra spice there I could do with collecting. Uh, let's have a look down here. Reward, can get some plasteel from that, or plascrete even. What's plasteel from? I can't remember what plasteel's from. Um, right, deploy, I don't know why that was turned off. Add an extra crewman to it. Uh, okay, so the one here with the spice I can now add in the refinery now I've got the water I'll add that in yes. ideally I could probably do with adding um, some missiles in just for a bit of protection we should be okay yeah certainly I think the key for this is get the spice and then you can trade more and, and bank you know stockpile more and stuff um, so what we've we got here, unlock the spice silos building. Uh, yeah, probably going to need the spice silo at some point. Don't want to run out of uh, room to put those in. Uh, so go to the ornithopter. Let's do some more research. Let's let's pick that up. And this one, we've found a crashed ornithopter, so we'll. Uh, Research that one. Hopefully, we can get a new ornithopter out of that. Um, but we're going to need some more troops. Uh, no, I need to send military to get that. Okay. Well, it's a bit of a trek, really, for my military. Um, so, we've got the vanguards. They do cause a bit more damage, but the uh, upkeep's a bit. No, uh, upkeep's the same, but. What's the difference? They've just got two. Two more attack and one less armor. It looks compared to the troopers. So uh, they do have other bonuses, I suppose, than the troopers. I'll just get some troopers. I think my main problem with the game so far is there's not much um, unit variation at the moment. But it is an early access game, so you'll probably find that that does change. I would have thought. So, is there anything valuable in that region? Not really. Uh, it could be pretty good, though, for having a missile silo there, because it would probably, or well, hopefully, it would keep in range of that, that thing. So, I may. 
I may take over that one. Can take over that one. Um, let's go over here. Let's resolve that. We've got a bit of extra spice. Uh, some more spice there we can pick up. Uh, a little bit. Of some minerals there. Let's just do in research. Okay, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna get some uh, get some troops in. Uh, I can't afford any more at the moment. Let's try and possibly sell a bit more. Village under siege. Oh man. What do you need? Is this raiders? Yeah, it's just range raiders again. So yeah, definitely gonna need to get a uh, building down. I think missile building. Got the council again, so uh, minus 30% salary upkeep. That would be pretty good. Let's stick all my votes on there. Yes. We'll support that one. Uh, now you can see like you like the standings and stuff. You probably if, if, I don't know. I can't quite remember where they get that from though. But there is a screen that tells you how good you are compared to the other people. I'm normally uh, it's this one. Yeah, so I'm quite a bit behind. Is this hedge hegemony? So I've got 1.3. They're all at, yeah two and a half. So quite a bit behind again already. I thought I might do a bit better this time around from when I first played it, but no, nah, I still suck yeah. by the looks of things. But it is quite a complex game. Uh, and as I say, I think it's one of those games that it's got quite a steep learning curve. And I'm certainly going to need to uh, learn a bit more about it. Uh, but as I say, I think it's, it's definitely one of those games that you could probably play for hours and hours. Okay, I don't think that would range it, would it? No. Uh, Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to just build one there. Uh, let's see what happens. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, this place, so it's gonna have to be on its own. But yeah, definitely want to get those protected. Um, this one should be fine. As I say, it's got the uh, the main city there protecting it, so that should be okay. So there's my three lots of troops. Uh, can't f oh, can I afford another one? Yeah, I can afford another one. Let's go for another Vanguard. Have a little bit of a mix. Uh, and then once that's come through, I'll probably just go on the attack, to be honest. Although, I can recruit more. Yeah, I'll probably just go and try and attack somebody. I mean, we've got the Fremen over here. It looks as though they've got an unprotected uh, town there, actually, which would be quite good to try and uh, overtake, perhaps. Don't know what this is all about. I might need to have a look at that one. But yeah, I think we'll um, I think we'll try and take over this tap wreck, and then we'll move over to to take on the Fremen. Make that little uh, Fremen village. Let's gather there. I don't know why you're going in different directions. I don't want you walking into this. Uh, uh, I'm assuming this is some sort of electro storm. Don't know how it's going to affect me. Um, storm, it had an effect on local population. I think it killed a few people off. Um, and power, power production is doing okay. Should be able to take that out pretty well. Um, ornithopter still doing the research. Where's my other ornithopter? I've got one there. Oh, the other one's made his way all up here. Uh, found the Atreides. Okay, right, that's fine. Um, so, what the buildings then? What other buildings can we get? Uh, we are going to need. Yeah, so we need some new villages that will bump the manpower up, that's fine. Uh, listening post, research hub, helps with your research. Airfield, kind of means you can drop your units off. Um, military base increases. Power to ally our military in the region and its neighbors. Okay. Um, so if I put the military base on this one, then it should buff surrounding regions, which would be pretty good. 
Right, we'll take over that one. So I can pillage these towns if I wanted to. Uh, and get some more uh, Solari stuff. Uh, maintenance center construction is in the cost. Let's get, get some. Uh, let's get some more military stuff in. Uh, defense systems. Man, uh, minus percent, twenty percent military units upkeep, manpower upkeep. Oh yeah, let's do that. We'll get that one, and then actually we can queue these up. We'll get that one. I'm really bothered about the agent stuff. That side of the game doesn't interest me. It never does. I just want to make an army and kill things. Basically, that's the way I play. Uh, let's get a couple of bits of militia. Or a few bits of militia. Uh, Windstrap 4. So, is there anything. Uh, yeah, I could get the Plasteel. Plasgreet. Plasteel. What was Plas. What, someone tell me in the comments what, what game is Plasteel from? Because I, I just cannot get that word out of my head. And it's quite annoying. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Let's, let's attack the Fremen. Uh, we've still not actually seen any sandworms yet, which is interesting. It's when I've played before, there was quite a few. Oh, here we go. Just as I said that, ah, uh, the uh, yeah, we've been able to uh, we've been able to escape. The uh, we've had a bit of a drop dropship moment there. Came and picked us up. So we are trying to take over this town uh, there are some enemy reinforcements coming in but uh, we have taken over that town now uh, when you're the Atreides you don't have to go and attack everything there's uh, other things that you can uh, that you can do for uh, protection and stuff all right now why am I minus on everything is that because I put the military base in Because I've got too much army. I don't know. Don't know. Ah! Who's these? Razors. That's fine. Good job I got all my militia in there. I think I might be struggling here. I'm going to lose all my army, aren't I? Well, that was a mistake. But at least all my uh, stats are better now. Right, let's we'll take that. Let's take that town. Now they've ran away. Uh, pretty much dealt with that one. Just wait for them to kill that off, and then I can add these two more extra militiamen in uh, to that little section. All the doctors need to get some work done again. Uh, let's go back down here. We'll, we'll try and re uh, try and scout all this area out. I don't want to see what's in this deep desert bit. I don't know what that is. A polar sink. Okay. Okay. So still not been able to take that part of the that village yet. Oh, they've killed me off now. That's annoying. Um, do with more troops. Two is probably not going to be enough. I'm going to uh, probably going to need more than that. It's from how strong they appear to be. So we've got here this Obud, Odud place. It's a, a siege village. I don't know what that means. Uh, apparently you can like trade with them and stuff but uh, and get them on side but yeah I don't really know enough about them as to what they actually do to be honest. Um, so what am I starting to run low on? Manpower again. So yeah I want to take that town but I could do with certainly expanding some of these other ones. Um, oh, 
comes another spice uh, zone from there, which I'll probably do with going into. Let's go up this way. Do some research there. Okay, I've got my four troops. I'm going to try and uh, take over that place again. Ah, he's got some. Um, yeah, I've actually put some reinforcements in there now, which is unfortunate. I uh, can actually get more troops though. Or at least one, one more. I've got more than enough spice stored up, so I could probably start whacking up the uh, gold generation. Uh, unassigned agent, okay. Uh, stick him in here. I honestly don't know what I'm doing with these. I'm honest. Sandworm, ooh. Sandworm is around. This is just getting too difficult. How do I, um, can I upgrade my troops? No idea. But my, all my troops are pretty rubbish, let's be honest, compared to them. So I don't know what the issue is with those. Uh, oh, I still might have been able to take over that, uh, win the fight. Did they run off? They probably just ran off instead of carrying on fighting. They might come back. I thought we had two lots of troops there I was attacking with. Yeah, it doesn't help when you're throwing away your troops, I suppose. But yeah, they're dead. That was a waste. Okay, I'm in the process of taking over that town, that's fine. Um, let's have a look up here. But yeah, I'm not overly good at this game, let's, let's be honest. Yeah, when I was there's still a good thousand above me, so I don't quite know what's, um, you know, how to get your points up there. In fact, it's a reflection of your overall power, so... Uh, controlled regions goes towards that special regions, charters, allied, sieges. Uh, okay, that's fine. Sandstorm detected. Okay, yeah, I'm not bothered about that. Uh, new council has been elected, I think. It's fine. Don't know what I'm doing with that. Communication request. Well, there's weakness, there's no peace right now. You're begging for an invasion. Alright, thanks. <laughs> uh, okay, military. That's good. Uh, I still can't afford military. Just yet. Although, I can probably uh, afford to. generate a lot more resources okay what are we uh we're low on manpower hmm probably means i don't know i can get some militia it's fine then i do have this rare elements that's for processing plant uh where are you going you're going to attack me take over that one. What if that trooper there just till the uh, militia's built and then I can uh, move forward. Um, yeah, we're being attacked. I mean, thankfully I've got plenty of militia there, but I understand why these things have got There's a caravan. Helps hide nearby troops. Okay, so it's not actually a military unit per se. But a lot of their units do look stronger than mine. Must be something in the research to uh, improve that. It's got to be. Got to be, because otherwise my troops are pretty, pretty bad, aren't they? And I think I'm controlling enough regions. So it's just I don't quite understand. That's fine. Killed off their troops, so that's good. 
Um, assuming they're going to be around here, I might get one of my ornithopters down here actually. Being attacked up here. Just getting attacked everywhere. Uh, these these guys, these little raiders need to get lost. What's wrong with that? Ooh, Sandworm is there again. That's fine. That one's still harvesting. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, has that been dealt with yet? Jeez. Not quite. So I'm going to need some more militia in there. Uh, what resources are we running low on? It's the army again. Uh, I hope to have no spice production coming in at the moment. 100% damage received, cannot attack. Only. Oh, right. Fair enough. I've had a thing. Implemented onto me. There we go. Getting those guys back to work. Um, right. So yeah, it's quite a quite a good game, but it's it's very slow. So if you're used to like Age of Empires, where it's a lot more fast paced. Uh, you might not be used to this, but if you are used to playing uh, 4x games, then you should be fine. Uh, you should, you'll probably enjoy this game. Um, it's pretty good. Okay, so where's my troops? I only got two troops. I only got two troops. It's not very good. Uh, so I do have money. What am I lacking? What am, I, what am I missing resource wise? Nothing. No, I did look like they were greyed out then. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there uh, for the video. So, um, this is uh, June Spice Wars. Uh, as I say, it is still in early access, so it's going to be quite uh, interesting to see how this uh, game develops in the future. But uh, thanks for watching. I shall see you on the next one. Don't think I'll be doing any more doing Spice Wars videos. I think it's just too big a game to uh, to make a, a series for. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, if you want me to see more, if you want to see more of this, then uh, do let me know. Um, I shall post more videos. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.